It is indeed a pleasure to be with you. I, I will not stop and share in between each song, but uh, the opening words were from the Old Testament book of Isaiah, and pretty fitting, break forth into singing for Spring Sing 2016. Our next selection goes back hundreds of years. You recognize the name Handel from composing the, the Hallelujah Chorus, the Messiah, and many other works. This is an aria from an opera, and the translation from the James Wells translation would be, are you troubled? Are you stressed? Are you uptight and anxious? And if so, music is calling to you. It is divine and wonderful and beautiful, and it can be a part of healing. The boys and girls have embraced this old, old, old tune and text and made it their own and beautiful tonight. So we're excited to share it. It's beautiful. And then following that, cantar una canción alegre, sing a lively song, sing praises.
We did go just a bit out of order from the written program. It just seemed to flow a little better. Many of you may have seen the, um, the Grammys a few weeks ago, and you saw Dave Grohl of Foo Fighters fame. Some of you know who I'm talking about. And he performed a, the, the famous Beatles, McCartney and Lennon tune, um, Blackbird. And we're going to do an arrangement written specifically for these voices tonight. But it's a bit of a history lesson as well, as I understand the, the song being inspired way across the pond back in the 60s in response to the struggle going on right here in the Southeast with equal rights for our African American friends and the struggle that was going on. And I, I just thought it was a, in, in somewhat of my own lack of knowledge, I thought it was just a, a great poem with a really cool guitar part. But, but there is some real depth to this beautiful poem and we're excited to share it tonight, Blackbird. It was a, a joyful morning yesterday morning with these fifth graders, uh, the chance to be here and to share. The purpose of their closing song tonight is to pass it back on to you. So we have accomplished our goal. If you make it to the car tonight, whether it's with one of these young people or you've come without one, that you're whistling this very tune as you leave tonight. Pass it along. Thank you.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bradley Wingate, and I am the Academic Specialist for Visual and Performing Arts for the School District of Greenville County. Each year, one graduating senior from our district is awarded a $1,000 Spring Scene Scholarship sponsored by the Pleasantburg Rotary. This scholarship opportunity is open to all graduating seniors who are currently involved in choral music, plan to attend college next year, but most importantly participated in Spring Scene as an elementary or middle school student. Applicants are required to write a one-page essay about, about why music is important to them, and finalists perform a solo choral selection of their choice for the scholarship selection committee. Joining me tonight is Val Vandersloot from the Pleasantburg Rotary and co-chair of Spring Sing to tell us about the 2016 scholarship winner. All right, he's so much taller than I am. Good evening. I'm proud to have been the co-chair of Spring Sing the last three years, and I'm really proud to be a member of the Pleasantburg Rotary Club, and we've been doing Spring Sing for the last 36 years. And I added up the numbers, and that means that more than 15,000 Greenville County students have been part of Spring Sing. Uh, they're everywhere, and you saw that tonight. Uh, they're here in the audience among us. Uh, many of these students will have a, an experience tonight that they'll remember the rest of their lives. They'll never forget tonight. And for some of these students, the thrill of being on this stage and, and the thrill of singing and performing will lead to a career choice for them. And that's what happened to our scholarship winner tonight. Our scholarship for this year goes to Maddie Moreland from Blue Ridge High School. Maddie participated in Spring Sing for four years, grades five through eight. Uh, that led her to consider a career that she's going to pursue this coming fall at Converse College. It's a career in musical theater and fine arts management. Maddie asked me to thank the Rotary Club of Pleasantburg for the $1,000 scholarship she's going to get tonight. Also, she wants to thank Laura Morris here in the audience, her Blue Ridge High School choral director. She wants to thank her wonderful family here tonight as well. And accompanying Maddie tonight will be Wendy Arms from Converse College. Okay. Well, hello. I will be singing Give Me Jesus by Moses Hogan. And I picked this song mainly because it reminds me how much I've been blessed for my 12 years of school. I was a part of this for fifth grade and all of my middle school years, and I remember this event was the reason why I wanted to sing for the rest of my life. And I charge all the students here who may have come through and are watching their siblings or who are up there right now that this is an amazing program, and it will lead you through a life that will be a, the most amazing thing you've ever experienced. And whether you choose music or not, it will change your life. So enjoy it, and you're singing on a stage like this, it's unbelievable, and it's a dream come true for me to be back here again. i 
Wow, huh? Yeah. Uh, presenting to Maddie the $1,000 scholarship and her scholarship plaque is my Spring Sing co-chair, Susan Hughes. about tonight's happening in uh, world news, but you should. Um, but when we come together with the beauty of music, we lift our voices in a variety of, of, of types of music and songs tonight. This next is um, sung in what we call liturgical Latin. We actually sing in Latin in, in two pieces, the last selections. Uh, from the Zulu language of South Africa, we're marching in the light of God, following the light. This is a prayer for peace. Whatever your faith background is, or if you have one at all, you, you, can't, um, you can't not acknowledge the need of peace in this world and a chance to be a part of it in any way. Tonight we bring peace just with this beautiful, beautiful request for granting us peace in this world that we live in, Benedictus.
I picture the poem quoted in this next song. I picture a young lady, perhaps the age of one of our young ladies up here. It's titled She Sings. It's a simple poem about a free-spirited young lady, perhaps a little heartbroken or wondering if that special person will ever be in her life, perhaps, and she just sings. And the joy of music is a healing power. She sings.
This is the point in the evening that we close with a combined song, antiphonal, if you will. The song is sung literally from the young person's perspective. I have young people, um, I have young kids myself. I have daughters age 15 and almost 19 years old. And I know raising them, there's been a slap in the face moment or two. In, their li in my lifetime with them. And it's when they told me, not necessarily by words, but just by actions or reactions, that the things of the world that I try to provide and give for them, you can just think about the possibilities of our young people today, cannot match up lifelong with the gifts of our time and the gifts of music and the gift of togetherness and the gift of showing compassion in our world. The song says, give us hope and we'll show the way. In other words, we'll be the next generation of hope and love and joy and peace in the world. And that's what the song says. Thank you so much for being here tonight, for providing this opportunity. I told the teachers in, a, uh, in service yesterday that Never have I seen anything like this, where community civic organization and our young people of Greenville come together to put this amazing opportunity together for young people. I've not been around uh, uh, forever, but I've just never seen it done like this. This is special. I hope you know how unique this is. Um, I give this third place. My marriage, the birth of my kids, and third is getting to do this tonight. This is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> this is an amazing thing that the Rotary Club does for this community, just this outpouring. As I've shared a little bit of what I'm doing the last few days, my friends are going, that's so cool. I didn't know that kind of thing happened. I wish the rest of the world could copy what you're doing. I know you want to keep it a little bit of a special secret, but um, thank you so much for what you're doing and for being here tonight. Give us hope. Our combined choirs of our elementary, some however many stories above us, 
and our middle school choir will lead it tonight. Give us hope.